Hey everyone, I'm Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. It is like 107 degrees At right least. now. It's really hot, but you're watching Expose. Thank you all for coming back once again. Kristen's gonna do the news, then you wait about two minutes, then I do my segment, then you wait about, I don't know, five second intermission, and then we get over to Michael's segment, which they're doing filming with Dimitri, and then like it's the end of the episode, so. Spoiler alert! David Blaine posted a YouTube video of him doing magic for Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. Blaine performs two card effects for Phelps in the video clip, and Phelps' reaction speaks for it. This effect is so hard. See if I squeeze the deck and make all the cards start to disappear. See all of them disappear except for hearts because that's what you thought of, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Magician Rudy Kobe performed on America's Got Talent this past Tuesday. Rudy performed his puppet boy routine and didn't make it through to the next round, but still incredible and amazing exposure. A magic documentary, a magumentary, a magic documentary, called Magic Camp. Called Magic Camp is out now highlighting five young magicians at Tannen's Magic Camp. And also another magic documentary, or ma is it magic? It's a magumentary. Ma magumentary. It's is actually playing right now in LA at the Lemel number no. 7. Uh, it's called this. I, I can't actually remember right now because I have a bad memory. Uh, but you should check that out. Uh, a friend of the junior program mm -hmm. named Yang Yang is actually a part of it. He has a really cool act, so it might be interesting to see. Definitely um, check it out. Let's you get back to your Thank thing. you. Bye, guys. See interesting. You in a, see you in a few short 59 seconds. Less than that. Hawkeye, oh, I mean Jeremy Renner, is playing a magician in an upcoming- said it again. Jeremy. No, dude, you said Germany. No, I said Jeremy. No, you didn't. I'll play it back. <laughs> Hawkeye, I mean Jeremy Renner, is playing a magician in an upcoming James Gray film. An innocent immigrant woman is tricked into a life of burlesque and vaudeville until a dazzling magician tries to save her and reunite her with her sister who is being held in the confines of Ellis Island. Starring alongside Renner is Marion Cotillard and Joaquin Phoenix. That's it for me this week. I'm gonna throw it over to Zach for the latest and news. Thank you very much, Kristen. Before I get into my segment, Halloween Horror Nights just added a dubstep maze and a Texas Chainsaw Massacre maze. Suck it, Orlando. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna keep my segment pretty short today because we have an awesome interview with Dimitri Arleri coming up. So in the meantime, let's start on the wire. We have a new wire release called I Can, based on the novel The Little Engine That Could by Sapphire. It's pretty cool, pretty difficult, and you can check that out on the wire. In our media section, we posted a phenomenal video of Patrick Lennon's close-up act that won second place in FISM. It's about nine minutes long, and it is just spectacular. It ends up being even longer based on the amount of times that you replay play certain parts of the video because you just missed something ridiculous. Here's a taste. You should know this is still a prototype. <laughs> but don't worry, there's no danger touching the card at all. So last week we tweeted and Facebooked a video by fellow junior member Albert Chang which involves violins, Super Smash Bros, and dress code. It's pretty damn awesome. Last but not least, we are very excited to share with you for the first time the very first trailer for Blake Voigt's Regeneration, which looks like this. yourself up it's coming very soon guys that's all for me this week now over to Michael James who has an awesome interview with Dimitri Arleri just a quick note at the end of the video just look how black the edges of his cards are it's both disgusting and yet I'm also impressed that he hasn't thrown them away yet take it away what's up guys Michael James here I am with Dimitri Arleri he's here from France we are shooting monument his new project um, and he's on the show. I'm going to ask him some questions. And so I guess I'll start with an obvious one. 
Um, when did you start flourishing and who inspired you? Um, well, I started flourishing in uh, 2007, in June 2007, I think. Um, how did I start flourishing? It was um, back in high school, I used to play uh, poker a lot. And uh, some friends showed me some cheating techniques, so I wanted to learn it. And uh, he gave me this, uh, this huge book by Steve Forty, I think, Gambling Protection, something like that. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, it got me into cards, so it got me obviously into magic. And then I found Cardistry. It was a video by Kevin O, I think. Um, so yeah, I pretty much stopped magic and started yeah. practicing cardistry. We've been actually shooting Monument for about four or five days, and one thing I've noticed is that Dimitri uses like really, really old cards. Like, like there, there's mold growing on the side of the card. It's really that bad. And so I guess the question I have for you is, why do you prefer using cards like these? I love the smell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now, um, old cards are good for uh, certain types of flourishes, like structures. Um, I really like structures, and I like to experiment with different kind of decks, um, like old decks, brand new decks, broken index. Um, it kind of extend your creativity. Like some moves, you can some moves are really easy to create with a with an old deck. So. Uh, You'll come up with a move and then try to practice it with a normal deck, I guess. You're you're really known for like Silent Transition and Opera, which are two amazing yeah. videos. Everybody knows you from those videos, uh, and you have really unique moves, structures. Uh, where did you gain inspiration from these? Is it from other flourishers or is it from something else? Like from a lot of things. Um, obviously, yeah, other flourishers. Um, main inspiration would be. Uh, Jonas Haglin, probably my favorite flusher. He's awesome. Yeah. He's really cool. Like, simple but very clever ideas. I love this. Um, Andrew Jenk, right over here also. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, but not, not also, n not just um, card guys. I mean, you can get inspired by everything. I uh, love a lot of juggling. Uh, my brother mm. is actually a juggler, so... He helps me sometimes. That's awesome. Uh, I watch a lot of videos of everything, actually. Um, music inspires me. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Yeah, uh, everything. I don't think I have any more questions for you, so we're going to get back to filming. We have probably about two or three days more. Uh, this project is going to be epic. Uh, Andre Jake will have more for you next week. Uh, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Back to you, Zach and Kristen. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Michael, Andre, Dimitri, and the rest of the Theory Loving team, we hope you have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next. Hold on. Friday. Ooh, I can smell it. I know. I, I, just, I just had a hot pocket. Ooh. So, that's a thing. See you next Friday. <laughs>